Welcome to the island of Mavia, but this won't be a vacation. Instead, you'll enter a decentralized strategy game, building up your base and armies to defeat enemies. This massively multiplayer online strategy game is built on the popular Ethereum blockchain. Players will build up their bases, battle for resources and land, and earn Ruby. In this video, we'll show you around Mavia and the world of the game. We'll take a look at the team behind Heroes of Mavia and their gaming industry expertise, and we'll explore what's next for the community. While gameplay is still yet to be released, we'll share our recommendations if you want to get involved right away. With the team's stated influences being two of the biggest games in the world, Axie Infinity and Clash of Clans, this game has potential to follow them to the top. If this is your first time here, my name is Tyler with Nifty Arcade. We are the operating system of Web3 Gaming, and here on our YouTube channel, we talk everything Web3. We hope you'll subscribe, it really helps us grow, and follow along on all your favorite social media channels, as well as Twitch, where we stream regularly. Heroes of Mavia is an online, decentralized base-building strategy game built on the Ethereum blockchain. Players will battle each other and compete for Ruby, a token earned by winning matchups and completing various objectives. Unlike traditional Web 2 games, players will have freedom to buy, rent, or team up with other players' resources. Details of the Heroes of Mavia's world building are fairly thin at this point. The game takes place on a tropical island called Mavia, filled with various armies and ruthless commanders, along with some seriously buff dogs and gorillas. Players will take the role of their base commander, battling for access to resources while battling other players. Will you become the master of Mavia, or will your base be overrun? Heroes of Mavia builds itself as the first AAA base builder game built on the blockchain. If you've ever played Clash of Clans or remember hooking up LAN party with your friends for hours of StarCraft or Age of Empires, maybe Warcraft 3, but not the remaster, this should be right in your wheelhouse. Building up your base's defensive capabilities must be carefully balanced against massing your offensive troops. And none of those things can run without gold and oil, two of the in-game resources that you'll need to manage as well. Defeating stronger bases and larger armies will grant much higher Ruby rewards, which is Mavia's in-game utility token. However, these challenging bases could spell disaster for your own base's security. As you progress and grow your base, you'll need more and more Ruby to continue on. This direct investment is designed to ensure a healthy and growing economy in the Mavia world. More Ruby can also lead to increasing the value of your own assets. You'll be able to choose between multiple land and air units to suit your strategic goals. And while not required, your mighty heroes, who are powerful NFT troops with special abilities, can help turn the tide in any battle. Heroes are so powerful, in fact, that the developers are including access to four base heroes with every land NFT in order to level the playing field. Players will be match made for gameplay that's fair and engaging while allowing players to learn the ins and outs of the game's systems at the same time. Heroes of Mavia will also support battle replays and spectating so you can really hone your strategies and learn from every match. One interesting gameplay wrinkle is that players will be able to continue their play and earn progress even while away from the game. If your base is able to repel an attack successfully with little damage, you'll be able to earn ruby rewards passively. Heroes of Mavia is being designed and developed by Scrice Studios. Based in Vietnam, Scrice has a global team of over 60 employees, and while the team has many years of game design, animation, and other game industry credentials, their cryptocurrency experience seems to be a little limited. However, while details of their blockchain and DeFi backgrounds might be limited, it's clear to see that this team knows their way around making and marketing a game. With a vibrant and lively art style, it already looks like something you could jump in and play seamlessly. We are of the opinion that play and earn cryptocurrency games have to be games, above all. No matter what the mechanics of your advanced crypto or NFT project might be, if no one wants to actually play the game, then it's kind of worthless. Heroes of Mavia can draw upon some of the most addictive games out there, including idle games that swept the world, to actually gain adoption of their Web3 game. Heroes of Mavia and Scry Studios must be doing something right because they have secured the backing of some of the biggest names in cryptocurrency and the decentralized worlds. They've raised a total of $8 million as of this recording, and Crypto.com has taken on the lead investor role, with Binance Labs, Delphi Digital, and many others listed as partners on the Hero of Mavia homepage. Heroes of Mavia is still all about the land from your very first play. A game about land, war, and expansion needs to have land, and Heroes of Mavia spins their land into their most essential NFTs. Thanks to the power of the Ethereum blockchain, Heroes of Mavia turns all the base building into true wealth building. Each base is a unique NFT, and owning at least one base is required for play. Each of these bases is of limited quantity and of set rarity, common, rare, or legendary. 
All unique NFTs are linked to a MetaMask wallet owned by the player. Within each base, your HQ is the control center of your entire gameplay experience. This is where you'll upgrade base buildings, troop stats, and more. And unlike other base buildings, the HQ can only be upgraded with Ruby, incentivizing sustained play and economic activity. High value bases will also have much higher economic value because of their Ruby value. One player can and likely will own multiple NFT land bases. This virtual real estate can then be bought, sold, traded, or even rented out, just like the more traditional real estate assets. Land can also be owned in partnership, lowering the barrier of entry for new players and cryptocurrency rookies. Other NFT assets include various heroes and base boosting statues. However, these are only available for purchase within the in-game Mavia governance token. We like any game that helps make NFT play and earn games a seamless experience. And Heroes of Mavia has a far better experience for visiting and using their NFT marketplace than most. Located just one tab down from gameplay, players will be able to browse and buy without ever leaving the game environment. And it's this sort of detail to user experience that goes a long way in making Web3 Gaming a smooth experience for the gamers. We love the thought of being able to buy and sell heroes perfectly suited for the current match and use them a few seconds later. Another interesting feature being developed by the Heroes of Mavia team is their proprietary NFT rental wrapping technology. This process allows NFT owners to mint a new synthetic base clone of their land to rent out without risking their ownership of their original base NFT. This smoothing process allows players to passively collect game rewards and tokens. Heroes of Mavia has a Discord community of over 82,000 and about 100,000 followers on Twitter. They're a fairly active bunch and comments have been very positive, especially surrounding the game's reveal trailer. The Mavia team have also secured Eric Rivera of FaZe Clan fame as an advisor for the game. He said, Coming from a professional gaming background, I was searching for the first big title that will bring the masses to GameFi. Blockchain gaming is only just beginning and I believe Mavia is well positioned to lead this space and demonstrate the importance of combining AAA quality graphics, addictive gameplay, and a strong economic model for play to earn currencies. In the last six months, Mavia has launched their community and held a massively successful land NFT mint sale. The sale reached number eight on OpenSea's 24-hour volume chart within 12 hours of launch, on their way to a number one trending project. Maintaining that momentum will be the next challenge for the Mavia team. From staking on land NFTs to beta testing and the eventual game launch, the second half of 2022 will be a critical junction for the team to deliver on. So the bottom line. While we haven't seen any gameplay yet, and there's still quite a bit of info in the coming soon stage, we're excited about the potential we see in Heroes of Mavia. Incorporating classic elements from base building games of the past, Mavia could be the first AAA base builder of the Web3 era, just as they say it will be. Now there's lots of interesting opportunities in Mavia, and they all seem to center around just one asset class, land. Focusing on land can eliminate a lot of indecision and margin of error, so no need to sift through many different NFT types here. If you're looking to get involved in the world of Mavia, you'll need to be a landowner. So what do you think about Heroes of Mavia? Get ready to build that base and stay tuned for more updates. Until next time, happy gaming.